Good morning. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I'm Ashley. Thank you for clicking on this video. I am at the gym currently. I just got here. I just parked. And it is cold today. We had those couple days of warm weather over the weekend and now it's back to being cold, which fine by me. It's December. It's supposed to be cold. So I'm glad it's cold. But I'm going to go in here and get this workout done. I've got my pre-workout, which is the Alani Witch's Brew. Love that stuff. Witch's Brew has been my all-time favorite Alani flavor that they came out for Halloween. And I know it's still out there in some stores that you can get it. But I just got the pre-workout, so I still get it, the flavor. And I'm a happy camper with it. But yeah, let me get in here and get this workout done so I can get back home and relax. As I said last night, today is my Monday for work. So, happy Monday to me. All righty, it's that time. We're getting the turkey out of the freezer for our 2023 Thanksmas, which I am excited about. I need to make a grocery order later. These are my turkey wings. I need those. These are extra chicken necks and parts for the stuffing. And then there it is. This was my free turkey from BJ's. If you watch that vlog, you'll know about my free turkey adventures. So there's a setting on my camera that just popped up and I have no idea how to get it off. <laughs> anyway, these are my readers. I wear contacts to the gym, but I need readers to be able to see anything up close or to literally read anything. But the turkey is out of the freezer for Thanksmas and I'm about to make some air fry chicken nuggets because I'm an adult and that's my lunch today but I have to start work here in a few minutes and I also need to get in the shower but I'm happy to be home because I don't know it's just one of those days where I'm happy to be home and not have to leave the house and go anywhere else today <laughs> okay y'all want to hear something hilarious <laughs> I'm in the kitchen about to make my chicken nuggets and husband goes does this ornament say baddies first Christmas? No, it says baby's first Christmas. And here I am thinking you just can't see it properly because <laughs> you've had LASIK. I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> maybe it's blurry. I don't understand what's happening, but it does not say baddie's first Christmas. But y'all look at this. This is so funny. But sure enough, look what it says. It says baddie's first Christmas, baby's first Christmas. <laughs> Guys, we've had this, you know, we've had this ornament for 14 years <laughs> it was a gift given to us a long time ago and yeah hilarious that we have had this ornament for 14 years and just now realize the way that it is spelled if you like sugar-free barbecue sauce and you like a vinegar carolina type style this stuff right here is really really good the downside is it is a little pricey. I think I paid something like $7 for it at Publix, but it is my favorite. I like vinegar Carolina style barbecue sauces, and this stuff is really, really good. I also like the no sugar added Sweet Baby Ray's if you like a sweeter sauce, but this right now has been my favorite. Yes, it is 218, and I am in my pajamas. <laughs> I'm not leaving the house anymore today, and I want to be comfy. I have editing to do. I still have work. If you don't know, I work in sports and I actually have two jobs. I have one that is full-time and the other one is part-time and I'm currently working the part-time one right now, but I'm going to have a little bit of a break. So there you have it. I'm going to get my hair situated and get back to work. For dinner tonight, I am going to attempt an instant pot spaghetti with the leftover chicken that I have from yesterday. The chicken that I used for the fajitas, I had two more packs of that. So I'm just going to cut that up and try to make this. It's from Christine's Kitchen. And if it turns out really well, I will link it down below. But I have faith that it will. 
So I looked this up on my computer. I'm just going to send it to my phone real quick so that I have it. And there we go. Let's go make some food. I'm also trying to use up this vanilla balsam candle from Bath and Body Works. It's from last year in my quest to use up half burnt candles. And then right next door, we have Sue, our elf. This is where we found her this morning. My EVOO is warming up in my Instant Pot. The chicken is chopped. It was still slightly frozen. And when I tell you, I felt like my fingers were about to fall off because they were so cold. <laughs> I'm going to use these seasonings, the buttery poultry blend, the no salt garlic and herb, some onion powder, and then some Mrs. Dash in there. So we'll see how that turns out. Here's our chicken. It is mostly cooked. It's going to continue to cook while it's pressure cooking with the noodles and everything. Next, we need to add water and then stir it and scrape up anything off the bottom. I am also going to add a 29 ounce can of tomato sauce instead of a 15 ounce can because it's what I have and because the recipe calls for one pound of ground beef and I have like two pounds of chicken in here. So I think that'll help with the extra liquid as well. Next up, the recipe says to take small handfuls of the spaghetti noodles, break them in half and lay them in the pot arranged in different directions to prevent the spaghetti from sticking together. And then it says, do not stir. Next, we need to pour the tomato sauce and your marinara over the spaghetti. I'm using this ragu simply no sugar added because it's what I had. I prefer Rayos, but this is what I had in my pantry. And then here's my giant can of tomato sauce. The most important part of this recipe, it says that after you pour the sauce and everything in there, do not stir. So we are going to put the lid in and... For pasta that is set to cook for 9 to 11 minutes on the stove, it says to set your Instant Pot for 7 minutes. So that's what we're going to do. This is the pasta that I used. It calls for regular spaghetti noodles, but I didn't have any. I like to use protein pasta or bonza pasta, but this is what I had, so we're just making it work. Our 7 minutes are off, and it said to immediately release the steam thing. Because if you don't, it'll make the pasta overcook and yeah, something spilled on there. There we go. Here we go. Let's see how this turned out. Let's give it a good stir. Make some pot spaghetti. I'm home alone right now. Dad and the girl are at physical therapy, so they'll eat when they get home. But we're going to give this a little taste test. All right, I'm just going to try it right out of the pot. Let's, oh, if I can get a noodle. And let me see if I can find a piece of chicken to grab. I'm trying to keep my camera out of the seam. <laughs> It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a little watery, which is my fault, not the recipe's fault, because I added that extra thing of tomato sauce. <laughs> Did I have it all over my face? But it's pretty good. I'm going to dish it up, and then we'll eat. We are plated, bold, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I am out of cheese. All of the cheeses, mozzarella, parmesan, all of it, so that is now on the grocery list. But here we go. This is dinner. I'm going to enjoy a little bit of the peace and quiet while the fam is at physical therapy, catch up on some vlogmas of some of my YouTubers, and I still need to finish editing yesterday's video, so it can go up tonight. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. It was just a long one and a lot to go through, but I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a good night.